millions of people has been vaccinated. Congratulations and thank you for playing your part. Millions of people who has not been vaccinated. I want to say I understand. All right. Where do I start? Let's talk with CDC and the scientists. What they are not really telling the American people. People who took their first shot, whether it's one, two shots, or just the one shot from Johnson & Johnson, the one shot from Pfizer and Moderna, or the two shots from Pfizer and Moderna. You gotta ask yourself, your first shot, did you get any side effects? Did you get ill? Now, if the answer is no, there's a reason for that. If you took your two shots, one shot, and you had no side effects, or very minimal side effects, your immune system wasn't strong from the start. Let me say that again. If you took one or two vaccination shots from Moderna or Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson one shot, and you had zero or minimal side effects, your immune system is not strong from the beginning. If you took two shots, one shot, or the one shot from Johnson Johnson, and you had a robust side effects, I mean, it was so rigorously you couldn't stand it. It put you out for one to two days. You were in bed. That means you have a stronger immune system. And you have a stronger robust. And that's why I'm very surprised that the CDC is not telling people this. But instead, they are telling people, if you are being fully vaccinated, you can take off your mask. You are, you are, you are cured. You are safe from going to the hospital who's getting severely ill or even deaf. To me, that's kind of misleading. Because if you are fully vaccinated and you have a weak immune system in any way, you are not protected, you are not cured, you are not safe. And if you catch the Delta variant, there's gonna be severe consequences. You hear it all the time on the news. Oh, I've been fully vaccinated. Why is I still going to the hospital? I'm getting sick. It's because they told you you can take off your mask and they did not explain to you about your immune system. People, the virus goes through your nose, your eyes, and it goes straight to your immune system. If you have a weak immune system, they're gonna wreak habit. They know that they can overpower you and nothing you can do about it. But if you have a strong immune system and a virus sees that, it's gonna be a problem. And they know that. They're gonna leave you alone and go find another sucker who's not wearing a mask who has a weak immune system, that's how the new variant Delta spreads around. It swims, it, it searches, it seeks out people who has a weak immune system. If you're a heavy smoker, a diabetic, it swims around, it looks for you. And when it finds you, uh-huh, we got them. That's how it spreads. For those who've been vaccinated, and those who has not been vaccinated. 
And that's why I'm very surprised that the CDC would not tell people if you've been vaccinated, but if you have a weak immune system, keep wearing your mask. Age don't matter. If, you're, if you have a weak immune system at 25, wear your mask. 45, 55, 15, 10 years old, 12 years old. People who are vaccinated are the carriers. Let me say that again. People who are vaccinated are the carriers. But on television, they are saying, oh, the people who has not been vaccinated is being hospitalized and put on ventilators. But what they ain't telling you is that the people who are vaccinated is the ones who put the people in the hospital because the ones who are vaccinated, they are the carriers because they don't have any symptoms, most. And the most who don't have systems is the ones with the robust immune system. No mask. Living free. Living careless. People, whether you are vaccinated or not, this world will never be the same like it was two, three years ago. Get that through your brain. This world will never be the same again if we don't all play our part. Keep your mask on. That's the only way you're going to defeat this new variant and the new variants to come in 2021. I'll tell you this right now. Two months from now, we could be back in lockdown again. Everybody want their masks again. That's why I respect what California is doing right now. Even for those who are vaccinated, California said, nope, you got to wear your mask because they get it. California get it. They get it. They start this train rolling. Now, everybody else got to jump on board. Oh, there's going to be a problem. A serious problem. And CDC. Scientists, come on. Start telling the American people the real deal. Not the half truth, but the whole truth. Stop saying people who's unvaccinated is the ones who's going to the hospital. Instead, start telling people the ones who are vaccinated who took off their mask is the carriers. And the ones who took off their masks, who are vaccinated, is the ones also is going to the hospital and get put on the ventilators. Because of what? Their weak immune system has been compromised. So stop telling people if you are fully vaccinated, you are safe. You're good. They are not good for some. And the ones who are good that have the robust immune system, they are still carriers. And guess what? Being a carrier is just as dangerous as not being vaccinated. Let me say that again. If you are a carrier, it's just as dangerous as not being vaccinated. And don't even realize it. NBA. WWE, UFC, any indoor event that has a capacity crowd should help you wear their mask, whether or not they are vaccinated or not. And also put in robust systems like suctions that get out all the dirty air, if you really care about people. Or do you really care about money? 
people, don't be naive. If you know your immune system is not strong, even though you took two shots, one shots, or zero shots, wear your mask. That's the only way this new Delta variant and the new variants to come will be under control. America, around the world, get used to it. We will never be the same again. It's time to live in a new direction. Wear your mask. Get vaccinated. But keep wearing your mask. Thank you.